In this episode, I get my fishing gear ready before heading up the Kings River to scope out a free campground where we have some lunch and play in the river. So come along. Hi, name is Jason. This is my family. And we love to travel to the beach, or the lake, in the forest, on the coast, to the mountains, and even deep underground. I hope you come along as we travel all around our home state of California, the greater United States, and beyond. We invite you to come join us as we go exploring. The next morning, I decided to get some fishing gear ready. Since all I had the previous day that was barbless was some midges, I wanted to gear up some barbless hooks on some of my favorite lures. So I pulled out a couple of lures and some barbless hooks and some six pound test. Now, if you're saying to yourself, that looks like a bad idea, handling those hooks like that, well, you're right, and I managed to hook myself on the finger. It's a good thing they were barbless hooks, and I always have a Band-Aid handy. A little later that morning, Jody came out to join me and show me her mosquito bites from the previous night. She cooked us up some breakfast. And then we said goodbye to the wildlife at Riverbend RV Park and headed up into the foothills. After driving past the gorgeous horse ranches and vast orchards, we got onto Trimmer Springs Road. Now, Trimmer Springs Road is this long and winding two-way road that slowly deteriorates and gets worse and worse as it travels up, around, and past Pine Flat Lake to the far eastern side where the Kings River flows out of Kings Canyon National Park. The stretch of Kings River from the eastern edge of the lake up into the mountains is littered with probably a dozen of these small free BLM campgrounds and I wanted to go up and check out the area and see what the campgrounds were like. So about an hour and a half up the road, right before it turned into a literal gravel road, we turned in at our destination, Kirk Flat Campground.
We drove around the campground to check it out and see what was available. And I have to say that this is a really nice campground, especially for the price. I mean, for free? There's picnic tables and pit toilets that were nice and clean. All the spots are paved and it's reasonably level. So we picked a spot that was shaded and settled in to have some lunch. We then grabbed all of our gear and took a little hike down to the river, which isn't exactly close, but it's not a bad walk, although you have to walk across some fields and rocks and things. This campground is not high up in elevation, so it was about 100 degrees outside, but the water in the river felt great. Jody decided to go back and change into her bathing suit and grab the kids' water shoes so that they could walk around in the river. We set up a little spot in the river and spent the better part of the afternoon just playing in the water. I would certainly come back to this campground, although it's a little bit far, but for free, you can't beat it. Just maybe not in the middle of summer. So what'd you think? It was good. It was good? It felt good. That water felt so good. The current was strong. It was strong. But it felt good. No fish. No fish. Had one bite, that was it. Even seen any. Well, we have to have chicken. Not the same. Oh well. Let's get the back up. All the way in? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for this trip. Thanks for coming along with us and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see where we head next time when my fishing luck finally gets better. And thanks for watching.